So uh, today uh, I'm going to show you how uh, I made the bracket uh, for holding the mast in the boat. Uh, I made it from a nice little piece of mahogany. This is Kira, she's going to be learning how to sail. Uh, I'm going to teach myself how to sail first and then I will be teaching her and some of her friends how to sail. Uh, we'll have her on the rudder first and then when she gets a bit older on the main sheet. And uh, th this is our video now of, of a little bit of, we, uh, we went, veered away from the plan because I didn't like the one that was holding it in the plan. So uh, from a piece of mahogany I had there, I decided I will cut out something that looks a bit nice in contrast with the rest of the boat. So here's our video. So uh, I've made up the two pieces, cut this out, uh, this is for the bottom if I didn't tell you already. Uh, I'm going to round over the edges of this and uh, I put a sacrificial piece here with this. We also have to make a flute here on the bottom, what do we call it, flute on the bottom. I'll use uh, this bit for doing that. That's so that the water runs out. Any water that goes down there runs back out into the boat. So it don't gather in, in under the other place, okay, under this. So. Uh I'll just do that. I'll just do that all around it there. When you're doing the end grain, put a, put a piece there. That moved on me a little bit there. Uh, it's fine. Uh, so I'll do all around the corners of this, and then I'll do the flute here. So I got my fence set up, and uh, I've got the router piece in. Um, make sure that this is good and steady. That's what I'm using. I'm not using a quick clamp. And you're just going to go down to there. So the clamp is okay there. It's not going to be in the way. Just be careful if you're not used to using. Uh, uh, router. Now, see my flute? Now, when this, I'll show you, uh, when this is, the water goes in here, will come out here on top of this secondary one, look. So that's the way it works now. See? So the water goes through here, comes out. Okay? That's it. So now we're going to. Uh, this is ready. I'm not going to mix up the glue for this till I do the top part. So this is ready for fitting. Uh, we'll sand it up a little bit. Uh, make sure you have it the right way around. And. Uh, We'll give it a coat of epoxy and we would glue them together. Make sure you don't block the flute when you're, when you're doing it. Make sure you don't block this when you're gluing them together. And that's it. I might put a piece of something in there to stop that happening. I can't find my, <laughs> my compass and I'm not going to go down to the village or to the city there and get, the, uh, and get uh, another compass. So I'm using these. This is the top part for holding the top part of the mast in on the uh, mast deck. Uh, just beside the mast decks on the mast, the mast wart, mast bulkhead, bulkhead, I should say. So what I'm doing is I'm using these, and anyway, I t the radius of these is good. They're, these are about 120 millimeters. So this is 120 millimeters. It's 300 millimeters long, and I'm not sure what thickness it is. It's 30 something. 
It's nice piece of mahogany, it's 36 millimeters, so it's strong enough. Uh, we will be cutting, I want to cut a curve in it where it's going in and then I will be screwing it in. I will be screwing it in to ways on the bulkhead, so where the framing is, it'll be going through that. Uh, so I'm going to go down here like this with this. I'll show you now. And we're going to use the bandsaw. And then I'm going to go down with this one. Now the distance I'm going to go down with this, I have to do the very same on the other side. And we'll only go down to there where it meets at 25. And then we might round that off as well. The screw will be 35 millimeter in from the end. That's what I worked out, so it won't contradict with another screw. Now, so that's our piece of sculpture, right? So we will take this over to the bandsaw, and then we will, uh, we will start cutting it. Okay, I'm going to attempt to cut this now. That's our curve now, that's going to go on the, the, on the uh, bulkhead of uh, the mass bulkhead. And this is the circle where we're going to drill out. I don't have a 60 millimeter drill. So what I'm going to do, instead of getting a jigsaw, it's very sharp for doing a jigsaw, we will make a whole series of big holes with a uh, Fostner bit. Okay, I'm going to drill them down as near to the line and then we will, uh, I can use the jigsaw or something to chop them off. I just don't want to go in there with a the jigsaw because the blade will go like this for sure, right? And it's very, it's only 60 degrees, it's only 30 degree radius, so I'm going to try this. Move a little bit this way. You get the point in. Or you can't do anything. And just be careful now because you have only got two little small shoulders. And on the very end that little piece is going to break free. So hold the piece of it in your hand very tight. Like that. And then we're done. So, we have what's like a flower. <laughs> it's okay, we will do this, we will clean this off with a chisel or jigsaw maybe or something like that. And then we will sand this. I'm going to round over a bit on it now. Um, that's the way I wanted it, and that's the way it's after turning out. I'll round over both top and bottom. Uh, I have the mast over here, back in, and I've already checked this, and not terribly tight. Well, there's about a millimeter or two in it. Uh, the reason you don't want it too, terribly too tight is because there's going to be paint going on this, and uh, so, but that's nice, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. So we will have a screw in here, countersunk, and here. 
The forces on this is going against the bulkhead, so it's not pu pulling away. It's going against it forward and left or right, left and right. And so that's where the strength has. So the, the bottom one is different. The bottom one will be inclined to pull out. That's the way it is. And the, the, the bracket to hold the thing. I'll put the top one on first because I'll be, I'll, be plug, I'll be plugging these holes here. So I'll be tapping with the hammer. So this one is just going to be glued in. Uh, I will put it on and mix up a... Mix it up uh, with uh, cabosil. The reason is uh, I want to get a good thick coat on. I've already dry fitted this and the screws on this is going into the into the, t uh, the one by one that's going along there. And that's why I, I where I, exactly where I put these and I left them actually up a slight little bit so I wouldn't go into the ends of it. Uh, the, the pressure on this is not, this is after being painted now so it should be fine. The pressure on, 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 the, on the top bracket, the pressure is going to be going that way, right? That way and that way and that way. The one on the bottom, the pressure is going back to the aft of the boat, the back of the boat. So, so we will, uh, I'll put these in, they were in already earlier, but I'm going to put them in now. And so I don't want to get all messy. And I'm going to put a strip along the top as well, as I said to you earlier. No, I can't get that in so easy. I'm going to push this down slightly when we dry fit it the last time. Aye, now see it all oozed out. Now that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, all out. I'll just leave that now for a few minutes. Here, when we when we were doing the gussets, these gussets over here. So I'm just going to make sure I have. The, we'll go with the grain this time now. And this is slightly different wood. This this is Luan, whereas the other one is mahogany, a real mahogany. Uh, yeah, we only need one in each of them. So I'm going to. I don't want to get the glue on my hand. I've got to use what's left here. And make sure you get the grain going with the grain on this because it'll look nice. That's it. And we'll do the same over on the other one. No, it's messy. You can't see the grain. Now, so that's that. Now I go to get a scraper and I will take off the excess here. Yeah. Maybe I should have wore two gloves, but maybe not. Oh, it's slippy now. Now, it's, uh, move it over and back, left and right, like that. Now the glue is coming out, on the sides, yeah. Now, we put plenty of pressure on that. Now that I didn't, 
I've used up too much of it now, so I'm going to mix up another little bit. Now, when you're putting on the second one, you don't want it to go into the flute. You, you see the flute I made here, look, see that flute? You don't want it going in there because it's going to be very difficult to get it out after. Uh, so we keep it a little bit back from that. And I'll put it everywhere else. We, it will go in a little bit there. We will put a lolly, no, we won't, a lollipop stick won't fit in there, but we will put a screwdriver in there to make sure there's nothing in there. I don't want to forget to do the end of this one as well. Because it's going to be going in where the, it's also going to be going in where the, where the mast is in here. So I'm going to push it down and I'm going to give it a bit of a squeeze. Push it towards, towards, we say in, 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 in the Philippines, we don't say north, east, west and south. We say Bukid, mountain. We say Dagat, the ocean and then mass in this way in each on the two towns okay so that's how we do it that's the way it's done here and that looks okay now that looks fine a little bit too much in it uh, I will take it off uh, I'm going to stick this slip on then as well so, uh, so that's it uh, t tomorrow I'm going to give it a coat of paint and we will we will put more uh, another coat of epoxy on these, and we should be fine then. Now we have uh, we have one coat of primer on this. This came out nice. Masking tape. I put this piece in here in mahogany as well, and uh, we are going to paint this white, this yellow, and the bulkheads are going to be blue. Now maybe that's a lot of colours for you. Uh, we will we will. Uh, I've given it one coat already, and. Uh, Go gentle on the paint, don't put too much paint on. I to and uh, so I'm going to paint the whole boat now, again, and uh, with this uh, epoxy primer, and then we're, then, uh, we're going to finish the boat in enamel. So uh, I should paint it by hand up here because I'm afraid in case I'll go over the masking tape. Oh, I did already. I'm after running out of small brushes because when you're doing epoxy you use so many brushes because you throw them out. And don't clean them with vinegar because if you clean them with vinegar when you go to use them again your epoxy will fail. Almost guaranteed. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to paint the boat. It'll take about 15 minutes or less uh, and uh, we will uh, We'll get back to you then. I think that bracket worked out nice. Uh, the mahogany seems to uh, to stand out uh, with the pine in the back for the mast. Hard here is the one that goes up like this uh, to bring it up high in the air like this. And uh, we also, uh, yeah, I put this trim here in the front of it uh, to contrast with it, and we put the white on the front. Uh, okay, so that's uh, that's our uh, our two brackets in for our for our mast and uh, we have the yard here that's the bit that goes up to make the sail much higher and we also have the boom there on the ground as well uh, yeah this came out nice nice bit of mahogany there looks nice uh, so uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, in the next uh, the next video we're going to make uh, I'm gonna make the dagger board I'm gonna laminate some nice pieces of wood together I'm going to make the case for the rudder and the rudder so that will be the whole main thing finished and we will start making we'll start making the amas the amas are the two small pontoons on the side and then the boat is finished uh, the sail should be coming next week from Cebu and uh, we will start uh, getting the stuff for the rigging that's coming next week as well so uh, we will have uh, by next week we will hopefully we will have We'll have the main boat finished, we'll have the rudder, dagger board, everything, and we will start doing some of the rigging. We, and at the same time, we'll be making the, the outriggers, the amas. So thank you very much again for watching. And uh, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe to our, our, our channel here. Thank you.